story of those who survived the ordeal and the pain and the despair that of course they had to go through and the kind of torture then that they will have to of course deal with for the rest of time as they continue to remember the unfortunate occurrence that took the lives of very many people who were dear to them. Let's take a look at that. Emotions ran high at the Mwingi Level 4 hospital smog as families of the ill-fated Mwingi bus tragedy streamed in one after the other to identify bodies of their loved ones. We don't want to make a mistake. Veronica Siombua, a mother of two, narrates the Saturday incident which claimed the life of her six-year-old daughter to the swollen river NZU. Pale ulikuwa unaona, my auntie is there, my cousin there, is there, na mtoto wa cousin yangu. My other auntie is there, na mtoto wake yako hapo. My cousin is there, na mtoto wake. Mtoto wangu wa melala hapo. Na hawa watu wote ni yangu. Hakuna mtu mzee hapo, na watu tuwa ndogo. Kwa hivyo, hayezi kukua hali, hayezi kukua normal tena. The family had boarded the ill-fated bus heading for a wedding ceremony before it plunged into the river, killing 10 of her family members. We were in the past, 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 we were in the Sisi tukafanya hivyo, tukaingia pale familia yote tukajaza na pale. Wawili wa wawili watatu walibaki the other side. So sisi tukaingia kwa matatu kwa kwa hiyo bus tuka tukaanza kuvuka. Tukaenda tuliena tu vizuri na basi ilikuwa karibu tu like 1 meter itoke itoke nje. Sijui iligonga ili nini kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa kwa, kwa bus siku keti nilikuwa nimesimama siku kuona kuketi nilikuwa nimesimama nimejishikilia so niliona what is happening so ikiwa tu like 1 meter ivuke sasa tunataka kushangilia ikagonga kitu pa sijui ligonga nini nikasikia chini imegonga pa and then nikaona tumeenda Dereka kujaribu ku control ika ikakuwa i control. Veronica recounts how she was rescued by local divers helplessly leaving her 6 year old daughter behind. Nikaona maji yamekuja yaka tukazimwa. Ikaisha. Mimi nikajua hapo ni mwisho na sasa hakuna otherwise. But nita kushangaza nikajipata siko ndani ya ile bus. Nikajisikia ni kama niko nje. Wenye nilijisikia ni kama niko nje nikaamua wasa ni float. Nikasikia tu kitu kinaambia float na ufanye mikono tu hivi. Mimi nikafanya fanya mikono hivi tu miguu nikajipata nje. Nikaona light. Nikasikia kelele then nika, nikaenda tena chini. Hapo ndo nikakunywa maji, nikainuka tena. Kuinuka ni kapata ile basi ndio hii hapa karibu na mimi. Watu wamepanda juu. Wanakolewa wana, wana hapo juu. Wanashikwa mkono, wanapelekwa, wanapelekwa. So hapo mimi ndio Na mimi nikajishikilia pale nikaita help help mwanamume mmoja akakuja hao divers wakanichukua akanipeleka nje Bereaved families now want the county government to hasten the process of identification to allow them ample time to bury their loved ones. Nearly 72 hours after the tragedy that claimed over 30 lives occurred here at River Enziu, normalcy seems to resume as the river that was once swollen now dries up. The afternoon hours of Saturday will forever remain torturous to the families of the deceased as they seek to come to terms with their loss. Andrin Kilemi. TV 47, Mwingi, Kitui County. Well, and still on that, it is the fourth day since the 33 people died in an accident at Nzi River in Kitui County. Currently, the volume of water has subsided, giving a different picture with what was witnessed on Saturday. Sharon Baranga reports on a bridge that has claimed more than 40 lives with so little being done by the government. <laughs> This is the scene of the tragic accident that happened on Saturday at River Enziu in Kitui County. 
On the side is the wreckage of a bus that had carried a number of passengers, majority of whom were on their way to a wedding ceremony. By now, the volume of water has receded, giving a different narrative from what was witnessed two days ago. If someone took a picture of this place minus the wreckage of the bus, no one will tell that a deadly accident that claimed more than 30 lives took place here a few hours ago. Residents say the Saturday accident was not the first they witnessed. In 2018, five people died here after they were washed downstream following heavy rains. Two months later, after the incident, five people who were from attending a funeral met their deaths at the place that is now known as a dangerous spot in Kitui County. In 2019 and 2020, a number of people died while trying to cross the river, which brings the question as to why is it that a bridge has never been constructed in the previous years? In the river, concrete slabs stand as testament that some construction was taking place, a project of the former member of parliament, but stalled when he failed to clinch the seat for a second term. And now many have been blaming the national and county governments for the deaths that have been taking place at Enziu River. Sharon Baranga, TV 47. All right. Now to matters education and education cabinet secretary.